When the gunfire started in Las Vegas, an LAPD officer and detective jumped into action. We talked to these local heroes tonight. CBS 2's Rachel Kim is live in San Bernardino with that story. Rachel? Well, Rick, the folks here at the Brandon Iron Restaurant are about to hold a candlelight vigil and moment of silence in honor of the victims and heroes from Sunday. Tonight, we talked to two LAPD officers who told us about their efforts to save lives on that night. It was a very scary situation, but you put that aside and you go in and do what you need to do. Even after hearing this barrage of gunfire at the Route 91 Harvest Country Music Festival, LAPD detective Richard Flores and his girlfriend decided not to run away with the masses. Instead, they looked for the injured and headed towards the ambulances. You know, we're taking off our shirts, taking off our tank tops, you know, ripping them up and trying to do tourniquets for people who were bleeding and trying to assess who needed to get transported as quickly as possible. When the ambulances were overwhelmed and civilians started loading up their cars with victims. We were just lifting bodies and taking them to the trucks. Soon after, Detective Flores saw a hysterical young woman who said her boyfriend had been taken to the hospital, but she couldn't get there because she didn't have her phone or money to pay for the taxi ride. I told the driver, I go, no, you're taking us to the hospital. I'll pay for whatever it is we need to do. The need for help seemed endless, and Detective Flores felt helpless. It was very surreal. And then being there without any type of weapons, not knowing where it's coming from, you really felt very vulnerable. Just the constant sound of sh shoot, reload, shoot, reload. That's what I remember just hearing the automatic gunfire, and I can't believe it's still happening. LAPD officer Joel Twycross was also at the concert with friends. He said he tried to help people paralyzed with fear. Everyone's running. You're trying to. I try to pick people up off the floor. Officer Twycross still wears his concert wristbands as a reminder. Be ready for it. I mean, don't forget. I mean, it's also it's, it's a tribute to the people who lost their lives there. Detective Flores also has a visual reminder. This heartfelt thank you on Instagram from the family of the young woman in the taxi. Uh, it made me cry. <laughs> Both officers told us they wished they could have done more, but they are grateful they made a difference in some people's lives, and they certainly did. Back to you in the studio.